Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Rockman RX by Tokun Koji. We are immediately being assailed by bladers. That is not at all surprising. Okay, a little bit of restoration here before we move on down. And we are eventually going to hit water. I am nervous, to say the least. If there's one place where Mega Man 1 ROM hacks tend to most frequently fall down, it's the, uh, it's the current section. Oop. So I'm just trying to be prepared for when it comes around, because, uh, who knows when that's going to happen. Or at least, we have a layout that's non-traditional. I'm approving of that, because that doesn't happen very often. Okay, we're now underwater. And there's, like... 8 trillion spikes, because there always is when you're underwater. Okay. Taking it slowly, taking it slowly, taking it slowly. There are penguins coming at me out of the wazoo. Makes it hard to focus on the jumps, actually. Oh dear. The later makes it harder to focus harder to focus on jumps or the penguins. Because it's such a friggin' annoying enemy. Okay. Oh, okay, we have the bombs now. Same deal, just more dangerous. Oh, and the super-powered beaks. We haven't seen those for a while. I wasn't really missing them either. Oh jeez, oh jeez. That was a little too close. Oh jeez, that was also a little too close. Okay. Yes, okay, the bombs are done. The beaks are not, though. Uh, I just... Bypass that one. Okay, this is insanely repetitious. How many times have we been through this same sequence? Copied and pasted. Oh! Well, the current finally came in, but right at the very end when it was no longer a threat. Okay. Alright. Thunder Beam is the weakness of this guy. It would probably help if I, you know, had any sort of predictive ability at all and could figure out which way they were coming in, but I survived and that's what's important. Alright, and ooh, we are in the last uh, stage and 
being very suddenly ambushed. That's not terribly surprising. Watchers tend to do that. Uh, no point in that. Extra life. Energy restoration. Extra life is already back. We're just gonna play it safe and pump that back up a bit. That's not well done. Now there was that. It's just kind of not worth wasting all my electricity on, because I kind of need that for the boss. Rush. Or they could just put a Yoshichi right there and make all my efforts at conservation useless. Thanks, game. I mean, can't really complain about having a Yoshichi, but... It was cut, right? Yes, it was. And the water is kind of screwing everything up. Am I actually supposed to... Okay, they did just shishi me, but still. Yeah, not the best performance there. Ah. Okay. I have to put a bookmark down. I'll do that if I die. Not if I die again, but I might. I'm at risk of being soft locked here. Oh, this is... I am super energy starved right now. Yeah, okay. I need to do that to avoid being soft-locked. Not the kindest uh, respawn point, if I'm being perfectly honest. Fireman is kind of ridiculous. Okay. 
That was the best fight against uh, Bomb Man so far. Fireman does lots of damage here. I guess that's to prevent you from just uh, face tanking everything, but it's kind of. Uh, you also kind of, they also kind of don't give you any good strategy against him. Like his pattern is also way harder to uh, work with. Unfortunately, Guts Man goes down quickly, and I was not, uh, I was able to avoid any soft blocking. Uh, but they don't give me any restoration here. I don't like that. See about potential weakness, but oh, jeez. Uh, well, probably won't be fire because fire was the original weakness, so, uh, I'll give Electric one shot, but I don't have much of that, so... Uh, yeah, that was more or less a weakness. Once I remember the pattern to deal with this guy, it's easy until the shots absolutely vanish. That's not doing any damage, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Ice appears to be the weakness. And that safe spot suddenly vanished from being a safe spot. Okay, well, I need to... It requires ice, and I have limited ice, so... I don't have a choice. It's either that or cheat infinite ice in. That feels like more of a cheat than, uh... Oh, jeez. <laughs> always the frickin', uh... Sprite Flicker. It's always the friggin' Sprite Flicker. And the fact that the safe space is gone.
Alright. There we go. Took me a bit of time to be used to leading the shots again rather than just hiding, but eh, it's all good. Uh, it's mostly good. I don't know which really constitutes this game. The game is mostly good. It's not super duper difficult. Um, and it's, uh... It's reasonably well constructed. It's not... There are a couple places maybe where I would have, uh... Liked a few changes. Uh, mostly, I think, the... I think it was Bomb Man stage. I had a couple of uh, spots I would I wasn't so fond of, but uh, like I said, mostly good. The one thing is that the end there really needed to have some have either a uh, automatic Yashichi wherever you spawned in, uh, or a. Uh, or some kind of restoration, or to be designed differently so that you didn't run the risk of getting softlocked. Because uh, if you beat Bomb Man and you were out, Bomb Man or Guts Man, and you were out of Magnet Beam, you were stuck for good. And uh, that's not going into the fact that uh, it's not softlocked, but Wily becomes impossible if you run out of weapon energy. Uh, I don't know if other weapons work besides Ice Slasher, but either way, the Buster doesn't work. That's, uh, you can be put in an unwinnable situation. And that's not a situation you should ever put your uh, player in. Uh, but, you know, aside from those issues, I really don't think there were too many things to really complain about with this one. I like that. I like having a hack I don't get have to complain about for a while. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.